For years, we've spent hours doing the simple things in Microsoft Teams. But with the introduction of Microsoft 365 Copilot, we can now save those important hours and focus on the more important things. As in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the latest Copilot chat capability. that You can chat with Copilot just like you did with ChatGPT to summarize your calendar, summarize key documents and more as well as create messages in Teams chat and channel conversations and summarize those lengthy chats into a few key points, as well as checking out how we can now use new sharing link capability to summarize your sharing links and also cover the all important meeting transcription and automatic meeting notes. Now, of course, before we dive in, I'd love it if you haven't already, to hit that all important subscribe button did you know that over 80% of people that view our videos are not subscribed to this channel? And you may well miss one of our all important videos by not hitting that button. And if this video has helped you, hit that like button to please let me know. So otherwise, let's head into Copilot in Teams and firstly learn how it has access and can summarize your calendar. So you've joined me inside of Microsoft Teams and I have Microsoft 365 Copilot enabled on my account giving me access to Microsoft 365 Copilot. You can see this behind me here in Microsoft Teams. But if you can't see the Copilot button on the left hand side of Teams, don't worry. You can also go down and select the free dot menu and search for the word Copilot. When you do so, you'll find the icon here. Go ahead and left click and it will open inside of Teams. But I also find I want quick access and I always look to the top of Teams. Can we have it that it's pinned and always at the top? We absolutely can. Let's right click and then select pin and left click and drag Copilot right to the top of Teams. We now have it pinned, meaning we don't have to go and pin it next time and it's available right at the top of Teams. And when you're using this Copilot app here, let's think of it like Copilot Chat. In fact, it offers very similar capabilities to ChatGPT. So if you ever use that, this will feel very familiar. Now there's also a few prompts that Microsoft provide us with right from the start of the app. For example, I can get calendar information about when a meeting is with one of my colleagues. Let's go ahead and select Matthew here and then send that into Copilot. That prompt now will connect to my own calendar and understand when the next meeting is in Matthew and the time and date. You can see that Copilot has now found my meeting. There's even the quick ability by left clicking on the meeting title that we can see the meeting straight in Microsoft Teams to make any adjustments needed. But we can also go a step further. Let's go back into Copilot on the left where we can pick up the conversation that we had with Copilot. Because this rates to Project Green Space, I'd like to understand what I will need for my meeting. Let's go and ask Copilot to help us out provide a little bit of information on Project Green Space in readiness for our meeting. And you can see when we ask Copilot what's the latest on Project Green Space that we then get a view of all of the content that me and Matthew have worked on that can help me for my meeting. Here we have a document around the financials, a roles document, the project scope, and also multiple reminders about some late tasks that relate to Project Green Space. Even the ability to click through those and get back to the email which chased me on those tasks. You also find references at the bottom for any of the content that's also been referenced in Microsoft Copilot. So we can see we can simply ask Copilot for an upcoming meeting and ask it detail about content in the meeting so we can get up to speed and ready for our meeting in super quick time. But let's also go a step further. Let's go up and open a new chat on the right hand side to start a new conversation with Copilot. Think of that as if you're going to clean the slate. Yes, no past conversations can be referenced when you create a new chat. You're starting afresh. Now in here, I've got some documents, a non-disclosure agreement. What I'd like to do is have Copilot summarize it for us. Let's go ahead into our prompts and this time give it the prompt to summarize the document and identify any key clauses. With our prompt written, you can see I haven't yet given a document, but that's very easy in Copilot chat. All we have to do is click on forward slash and we can now go to files and find a non-disclosure agreement for my recent files list. By left clicking and then sending it into Copilot chat, it'll now access a document which is stored in my own SharePoint site. It will review it 
and summarize and identify any key clauses in that non-disclosure agreement. We can see here the response is already coming back from Copilot and I haven't even opened that document. Okay, so we've seen some integration with your calendar and also document summaries all through Microsoft Teams and Copilot. Well, how about we go a step further? Once again, click on new chat and this time let's get creative. Now, as we've seen, all of the results so far have been built on your own business data. What I'd like to do is access web content to build back my knowledge in Copilot further. To do that, go down and click in the plugins and here you can turn on web content. This means you'll now search the web to find relevant content. That's great for creative ideas. So here, let's go ahead and let's get prepped for one of our training sessions we've got next week on Microsoft Copilot. I need to get some ideas on how best to approach this. Let's go ahead and add in our prompt. With our prompt submitted into Copilot, we can see it's came back with a training structure that we could potentially use for our session. But the benefit is it's not built from your business data. In fact, in the references, we can see by left clicking, it takes us to information stored on Microsoft Learn. That means that Copilot is now using the web to generate its answers, making it more creative and more flexible when it comes to finding out general information or building an upcoming structure for one of your meetings. So we've seen that Copilot Chat can work in a variety of different scenarios by building on your own data and also web data through Copilot Chat. Are you struggling with Microsoft 365 Copilot? We know many of you that have access to Copilot have struggled to understand where it can best help and also focus in on some of your own business scenarios. That's why we've been helping clients around the world with recent training workshops, helping them get the most from Microsoft 365. So if you need help with 365 Copilot or even the free Enterprise Copilot, why not head to the link below, get in touch, and we can see how we can help you, your team and business use Copilot in the best possible ways. Anyway, let's go back into Copilot and see what else it can do for you in Microsoft Teams. But Copilot doesn't end there. You might have a very lengthy conversation from one of your colleagues inside of Teams chat. Here I've chatted to Matthew about some areas in Project Greenspace, but I need a quick summary about what's been discussed. On the right hand side, you'll see the Copilot sidebar. You can see in these examples that we can actually get Copilot to summarize our chat for us. Yes, it will do all the reading of the chat and summarize all the key points. I've already asked Copilot to summarize this chat and we can see the different conversations that me and Matthew had and also what they're related to. As well as understanding what was a summary, once again, under the different numbers, we find references by left clicking they highlight the message in place so I can get back to it quickly. As well as summarizing all of this chat, we can also see to show me highlights from a past time frame, maybe a day, week, month, or year. We can see with those highlights from the past day, there are a number of key takeaways. And we also discuss budget sign off, and those key points are once again shown that we can left click and understand inside of that team's chat. So you can use Copilot to summarize your chat in Teams and help you understand, especially if you've been away in group chat, what's been going on in your chats and who you need to pick up with to get things progressed. But what about drafting messages? In the same conversation with Matthew, we were talking around the costs and budget. What I would like to do here is drop a message back to Matthew. So what I'll do is I'll draft my message in the same way using the message box at the bottom of Teams chat. With my message drafted here, it may not be the right tone or appropriate to go and send that on to Matthew. What we can do though is click once again into the Copilot button inside of our Teams chat box and we can now rewrite the message. In here, we can select rewrite or we can adjust it. By selecting adjust, these are the same options we've seen before in Microsoft Outlook with Copilot integration. Instead here, I can make it sound more professional. And by doing so, we can see that my message has now been converted to something that's a lot more professional. We can then go ahead and click replace and my own message is replaced by the version inside of Copilot. Let's go ahead and click on send and that's now been shared with Matthew. You can see there's no stamps on here saying AI generated the message. You just improved my original message back to Matthew and rewritten it in a different way. 
And you may be wondering, is this available in Teams channels? And it absolutely is. Head into Microsoft Teams and find the team you're working in. Here is Project Greenspace, and I'd like to announce the project is just getting started. Let's go ahead and click Start a Post. We can now add our subject and our message. And now we've drafted our message, we can once again click on the Copilot option, and we can now go and edit our message with Copilot helping us out. Once again, let's adjust it, make it more professional, but also we want to make it a little bit longer. With those two options added in, we can now see we have a much longer and professional message to send as one of our announcements. Let's click replace, and it's now added that content inside of our message. And now I changed it to an announcement, I've now shared it in my team with AI and Copilot helping me to get that perfect message. But on the subject of files, we can also have Copilot help us when it comes to sharing files with others. These documents are stored in Project Greenspace and Microsoft Team. I'd like to go ahead and share some information on our green policies with others, and I can do so by selecting a sharing link inside of Teams. Now before, you may have sent a personal message confirming what's in that document, but now Copilot can do it for you. Select the Copilot option inside of your share dialog, or now insert a file summary that the other person who picks up your sharing link can review before opening that document. We can see here in a single click we now summarised our document that can be shared with others from Microsoft Teams giving them a summary of what's new in that file. And what about your notes from your meetings? Can Copilot help you out there? Well the good news is we've already covered this on this channel and we went more in detail with transcription and how Copilot can take all of your notes in your Teams meetings. You'll find the video in our channel and also linked in the description once you've then enabled transcription and you've used Copilot, you can open any of the meetings where you have this enabled. Go ahead and select Recap inside of Microsoft Teams meetings. You will now find a summary of all of the meeting notes from the meeting that you had with your customers or colleagues, all done automatically. We can expand any of these and understand how those meeting notes have actually been created, from which points have all of the key information in. But not only that, we can also go and find follow-up tasks that you can take forward and add into the task app of your choice. And for those of you who need detail, don't worry. Click on transcript and you'll also see the full transcript taken that you can even export into a Microsoft Word document as well. Once again, if you want to find out how we've done this, check that video out on our channel to find out more. And there you have it, you've now seen Microsoft 365 Copilot in Teams. Been able to have access to your business data, calendar, files, and more, and even have it rewrite your messages to make sure they hit the mark every time. And if you've liked this video, let me know in the comments below. Or if there's a particular topic you're struggling with, again, hit me up in the comments and I'll see if I can help you out. And please hit that like button to let me know that this content has helped you. And of course, if you're one of those 80% that haven't subscribed already, but liking the content, hit that subscribe button to help continue to grow our channel and help you with the tools that you already have. Other than that, well, I'll be seeing you in the next one.